artificial love we just make it up cause reality will never be good enough and even if hey guys welcome back to another video i'm back in the beautiful cradle mountain lake st clair national park uh today's plan is to start from ronnie creek here and get to Barn Bluff and some of that today. And if I've got time, sneak in a couple of other peaks like Mount Emmett and Mount Campbell. But uh, it's gonna be a huge day. Uh, so hopefully the, the sun stays out, we get those sweet views. And yeah, we'll see how we go. Enjoy. Yeah, so about two and a half hours in, straight line distance on my GPS is saying 3.5 clicks, so um, probably another hour and a half I reckon, and I'll get pretty close to the base slash ascending up to the summit of Barn Bluff. But um, yeah, it's a beautiful day, very sunny, so yeah, trying to keep hydrated, making sure I've got plenty of water is definitely key for a day like this. Handy emergency shelter here. If you ever get stuck in really bad conditions, you've got this place to hide in why if you're around these peaks. the summit. I'd say 10, 15 minutes. Woo.
much in the middle of the Tassie, uh, rattling out this view. So in front of us is Mount Inglis. Uh, to the left, we're heading over towards Mount Geikie, Mount Tyndall, right in the middle there, uh, towards Queenstown, um, Mount Owen, built on peak, Mount Sorrel, far distance, built on Craig, coming into view, built on Bluff, Castle Mountain, Frenchman's Cap right over the back there. Uh, heading over to Mount Nereus, Mount Nereus, Mount Proteus in the front there, Perrin's Bluff. Um, heading towards uh, Mount Pelion East, uh, West I should say, in the middle. Uh, Paddy's Nut, Mount Hyperion, Mount Thetis, Mount Ossa, Castle Craig. In Pelion East is opposite Mount Ossa there, twin, twin spires over the back. Mount Laguna over the back there, heading over to Mount Oakley right in front of us, and um, over the back there's Mount Pillinger, heading over to King David's Peak and the Walls of Jay, Clumina Bluff, Ironstone Mountain, far, far distance, uh, Western Bluff, we've sort of got a bit of a ridge across here, traverse at the top of Bum Bluff, heading over to Mount Rowland, and the back of, or another point of view of Cradle Mountain, I should say. Mount Kate, um, St. Valentine's Peak, Recondite Knob down below, and you're heading over towards um, the northwest of Tassie there. Absolutely sensational views. So there you have it guys, uh, Bum Bluff Summit, uh, this is not the true summit, uh, just doing a bit of a send off from here, let other people enjoy the summit. Um, okay guys, a decent, decent hike, took me five hours to get to the top, um, yeah so it's not the fastest or the slowest but yeah it's uh, time for people but yeah it's it's still a, you know fair slab of time so you really got to at least dedicate so I'd say nine to ten hours just from Ronnie Creek uh, to Bar Bluff Summit and back. Um, uh, I'm just kind of playing about uh, doing Mount Emmett uh, sort of on the way back to Ronnie Creek but um, yeah I'm not 100% sure. So we'll I am on the Scott Hill Hilbert, Hilbert uh, track on the other side of Cradle Mountain after coming down Barn Bluff Decided to give Mount Emmett uh, the miss today, uh, just because of timings. Um, so this is what I've got ahead of me. Uh, Hanson Peak, Mount Campbell. Uh, the, the drive home back to Ronnie Creek. Yeah, it's gonna be an absolutely big one. There you have it guys, finishing the video on Hanson's Peak, absolutely beautiful spot, 
Um, it's been a really hot day, so it's really taken it out of me. Uh, look, um, I wanted to get Mount Emmett in, but that didn't happen, so I'll come back and do that one. Um, I'm about an hour and a half, hour 40, maybe back to Dove Lake slash Ronnie Creek. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the vid. Subscribe, like, share the vid, uh, jump on board. I'll do my best to, to get some sweet views out to you guys. Um, yeah, soak it in. See you on the next video, guys. Cheers.